Okay, so we're going to make something really easy. Um, I found this great no-bake recipe um, in the St. Stanislaus cookbook uh, that was on sale a couple months ago. And um, uh, Amy did a, something called skunk balls, and it just requires three ingredients. I actually don't call it skunk balls because as much as I like wildlife, I don't really like skunks. So I call them Oreo balls. Um, so you need a package of... Oreos or a similar kind of cookie. Um, you need one bag of white chocolate and you need eight ounces of cream cheese. So you take, um, basically you're going to take these and crunch them up. Um, I just used a bowl. I use my hands. You can put them in a, a big Ziploc bag and crunch them up. And then you want to make sure this is softened the cheese um, and then add that into either the bag or the bowl mix everything together so I actually went ahead and made one of the balls um, in advance and um, I put them in the refrigerator just to help cool them off so they would keep their shape and then I um, already went ahead and melted the white chocolate um, I put it in a little glass bowl like this I guess there's um, a little trick to melting white chocolate, but if you look on the back, there's usually melting instructions, like you're not supposed to do the whole bag at once. So um, I just did half the bag, um, little by little. And then you just take um, the cream cheese and Oreo little balls that you made. I guess it makes about at least at least two dozen. Um, you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'll bring it up here. And you can see I'm just dipping it into the white chocolate. Let that come off a little bit. Okay, there we go. And there's um, what I guess some people call skunk balls or Oreo balls or black and white balls. But it's a really uh, great easy recipe for um, you to do with kids. It doesn't require any baking except the, the use of the microwave. And uh, three little ingredients. So something to try. Have a great day.